every day, um, there is kind of a different approach that I take to each project. But for, for the general overview, um, the, I have this two-prong approach, right? So essentially, because Blender and BlenderBim are nearly two different programs, they just overlap with each other, I typically keep a Blender file and an IFC file as two separate entities. Now, there are different people who are using um, Blender BIM professionally. And I would say the best example is probably opening design. And uh, their process is a little bit different. They kind of keep these cohesive, um, but I keep these separate entities and then I overlap them when I need them, right? So for the Blender file, I give it its own function. I mainly use that just for presentation and design. So if I need to experiment with an idea or a space, um, that's where it would go. That file format would be a .blend, right? So I would save that as a .blend. That would be its own thing. With the, it's the presentation file. And the output from that would be like renders, videos, and 3D models, right? So you can get an FBX out of that. You can get a OBJ, basically just geometry that could be opened in another program if you need it. And then you have the Blender BIM file, right? And that I would use for documentation and any BIM kind of features, quantities, those kinds of things. So the file format for that is the IFC, right? Industry Foundation Classes. It's the .ifc file format. IFC, um, I'm not sure how many people go uh, have gone through this, but I assume that most people here um, are at least aware of I the .ifc file format. It's an open format that can be basically opened in nearly any program and um, in architecture specifically or AECO. I think every single program has an import IFC function. So you can open this in Revit, um, with an with a plugin, you can open this in SketchUp. Uh, you can open this in basically any 3D modeling program. I don't think you can open an IFC in AutoCAD or a 2D modeling program. But essentially what that allows you to do is it allows you to bring IFC files in and out um, between different programs. So if you need to coordinate with people on a, on a larger level, um, it's better than using Revit or ArchiCAD or any other program. And then the output from this, right, uh, is the plans right, or just drawings generally, plan sections, elevations, um, a 3D IFC file, which is an asset all on its own, which um, Menno demonstrated beautifully yesterday, and so did Dion, and then building information, which I would kind of put it on its own, um, because that's the kind of information that you actually need on site. If somebody's saying, okay, cool, we're sourcing the store or this thing, um, or the glazing, what does the fire rating have to be? What does the U value need to be? Okay, cool, it's in the model. I, I, don't, I don't have to send an email. It's always there, right? Um, so from my kind of background, most of the time, those kind of questions are asked on site, even though that information is provided up front. So it's very nice to be able to have something that is kind of like at hand's length that you can instantly grasp it instead of having to go to a spreadsheet or some sort of spec email that you sent, um, having to check that up. It's in the file, it's updated, it's live. So just consider this, to simplify what I said again, two-prong approach. We've got Blender BIM on one side and we've got Blender on the other side. And these are keep distinct and separate. If you overlap them without saving them separately, you're most likely going to break your IFC file at the moment. In the future, these are being kind of brought together more, especially materials. That's the thing that distinguishes these two a lot. And for the most part, like I've probably worked on 20 different projects this year and I really don't want my IFC files to break, <laughs> you know? So this is kind of just a, right now the safest, best practice for me. But like again, again, this is not the holy grail. If you find another process that works better for you, then go for it. Opening design tends to keep these, there are two files, but they're linked basically. They're kept together. So um, there are benefits to that, but at the moment I find it's just safer to keep them separate.